Hi, I'm Curtis Petty. 3.14159265389793238462 today. And here's what's happening now. Yes, everyone, it is Pi Day today. Happy Pi Day. That's because it's March 14th, or the third month and 14th day of the year. And if you lived in Austin, Texas, you could have just looked up into the sky where they were writing Pi. Next up into data storage type news here, Google Drive has been updated today. Yes, they've dropped the prices of their online storage. You still get 15 gigs of free drive storage, which is nice. Though for $2, you can get 100 gigabytes. But if that 100 gigs just isn't enough, well, they have a one terabyte solution currently available for the low price of $10. It used to cost $50 for that storage space, so $10, that's crazy cheap. Of course, all of this storage goes towards Google Drive, your Gmail, and your Google Plus photos. It just goes to show the constant growth of digital storage. Looking at this picture here is a prime example back in 2005, a 128 megabyte card. Now in 2014, 128 gigs. Keeping on the topic of data and online storage here, some bad news. SOPA is back! Yes, look out, the copyright law is making its way back. If you're unsure what SOPA is, I'll kind of run through it really quickly here. Currently, the 1998 Digital Millennium Copyright Act protects websites like YouTube, Tumblr, and Facebook as they're not responsible for what the users upload. Though if a company does find a user uploads something copyrighted, they can ask for it to be pulled. But apparently that's not enough for the companies as SOPA wants to actually work to take down the entire site. So if someone posts a movie onto YouTube, theoretically Warner Brothers could just be like, yeah, let's close all of YouTube. Now back in January 2012, millions of people online rebelled against the first version of SOPA, but now copyright lobbyists are back at it attempting to push through. So not the greatest thing here, if you wanna learn more about this there is a link in the description down below check it out it is a great read next up jumping into the conflict in ukraine it looks like share music is actually coming to the rescue. The backstory to go along with all of this, Russian troops have actually been broadcasting propaganda over loudspeakers. Now, of course, Ukrainian troops are not really happy about this, so they responded by blasting share music back at the troops. Because if you're gonna choose any music to blast back at the Russians, it's gotta be share. Interesting enough, if you look at the psychological aspects here, it's kind of interesting. On the side that's actually blasting out the music, it can actually unite all of the troops together. And on the other side, it can actually terrify your enemy, not because, of course, it's share. Which it may be terrifying or it may not be terrifying depending upon your musical taste. But the big thing here, it could keep troops awake. It can then lower morale and it can actually confuse them. A funny fact here, British naval officers actually blast Britney Spears at Somalian pirates. This actually deters them from like attacking the ships. So there you go, Britney Spears and Cher to the rescue. And last in the world news today, let's talk about space and a UK mission up to the ISS. A British astronaut will be heading up to the ISS in the coming year, but he is asking the UK people to actually name the official mission. This means if you submit a name and it gets actually chosen, it will be used on like the patches and it will be used throughout the media to talk about this entire mission. So with that being said, what kind of name can you come up with for the mission to the ISS? Like I'm not a great person to come up with names, but I think it would be so sweet to be able to have my name or some sort of name that I came up with on something like this. I'd love to hear all the ideas you guys come up with in the comment section down below. Of course, you can also let me know on my Facebook page or Twitter account. Links to those are on screen right now and in the description down below, along with links to all of the other topics I talked about today. And while of course you're clicking around down there, why not hit that like button and subscribe, and you can share the show with your friends on social media. Also, don't miss out on the other fun videos I posted on this channel this week, from a new multiplayer Minecraft video to the Great Gadsby House in The Sims 3. You can check those out. There are links on screen right now, and of course, in the description down below. Until next time, I'm Curtis Parody, and that's what's happening now.